గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ వెల్కమ్ టు లీగల్ మ్యాటర్స్ బై సాయిబాబు సుకరా ఈ ఫ్యూ డేస్ బ్యాక్ ఐ థింక్ మేబీ డే బిఫర్ స్టడే ఐ టోల్డ్ యూ రిగార్డింగ్ ద కరప్షన్ ఇన్ ద జ్యుడిషియరీ రంజన్ గొగోయ్ ద యశ్వాన్ సిజిఐ ఈ స్టేటెడ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ డీప్ రూటెడ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యాజ్ ఎర్లీ యాజ్ ద సొసైటీ అండ్ వేర్ ఫ్రమ్ ద జడ్జెస్ డూ కమ్ దే ఆల్సో కమ్ ఫ్రమ్ ద సొసైటీ సో సో కాల్డ్ బ్యాడ్ హ్యాబిట్స్ so called good habits will be there in existence in the judiciary also don't it? so certain people are arrogant certain people are docile like that please remember certain persons definitely they commit impropriety impropriety which is not expected from a judicial magistrate a, a, a pdj principal distinction judge of varanasi was asked to appear before the allahabad high court in person for his alleged impropriety in the disposal of a case so normally judicial decisions they are only amenable to appeal that's all the higher court need not interfere but writ of certiorari yes it says that come on send the file send the file to me whether you have done excessive your jurisdiction or whether you have not at all exercised your jurisdiction we are going to look into like that so these rates are also there anyway we are not talking about the rates only we are discussing that uh, a judge was asked to appear in the court in person in the high court in person for his uh, alleged impropriety allahabad high court uh, uh, actually asked or directed the judge mr manish vishwas manish vishwas he is the pdj of varanasi to appear before the court on some day i don't remember the day so you can read the cases ashim kumar das he is the appellant ashim kumar das versus manish vishwas and others dated 21 11 2022 so justice azit kumar of calcutta high court yes uh, asked the so called manish vishwas to appear before the court in person why this is important the defendant or manish vishwas is working as principal district and session judge varanasi it is alleged that he is in the habit of uh, committing impropriety in the discharge of uh, his uh, judicial functions so to put in the, to put it in a nutshell actually this is regarding a revision petition right on 12 10 2022 somebody have filed a a uh, revision petition before the so called pdj so he has summoned the defendant or the appellant defendant respond in the case and presently he is our appellant right so actually he has summoned for the record of execution not for the record of the entire suit he has asked the ep proceedings so whatever it is on 17 10 2022 after one week or so then this uh, appellant he has uh, filed the objections okay then the matter is posted to one month later that is 17/11/2022 so this man our uh, ashim kumar das is expecting that the matter will come on bench on 17/11/2022 but incidentally the pdj took up the case on 11/11/2022 without assigning any reason for advancing the matter and further without giving any chance to the so called defendant uh, he has decided in favor of uh, the other party this is the grounds normally you will get a grounds so here the matter has come before the honorable high court of calcutta uh, calcutta where high court observed that it is not mentioned it is not clear as to how the case has been advanced two weeks the orders are not reflecting suppose uh, if the other person files a petition and the note is given to the other party as yes, he can say because of these circumstances uh, i am advancing the case but that writing is not reflected in the order and the two so here already the revision has been filed with some delay the objection by the appellant is that uh, it was uh, there was delay so limitation act will apply so therefore what he has to do so the other party has to file a petition under section 5 of the limitation act and then only if they are expect the delay is condoned then only taken up nothing was done he has taken it for and disposed it on 11/11/2022 itself so therefore he has brought the matter to the notice of the high court 
and this is not the first time for him previously the high court observed that uh, previously earlier he was held up for committing a similar mistake of course at the time a bit of leniency was shown now they have taken it very seriously but it is the department judiciary is also department they have to give all the opportunities therefore they ask the concerned judge to come and personally approve we have the court on so and so date so that his explanation will be heard of course if it is satisfactory okay otherwise he will be held up there is no point there is no doubt in it so please remember being a judicial officer no doubt you may think the doctrine of uh, separation of powers nobody can do anything here there is a watch dog high court and supreme court definitely there if you do any mistake definitely they will haul you this is the lesson to be learned by any judicial officer who wants uh, to do things in his own fashion without following the law or who want uh, allegedly the so called improper acts of impropriety with this i am concluding thank you very much